Sultan Sharif Sidi Muhammad III Ali, also known as Sidi Muhammad bin Abdullah III. This man right here, if you look, if you put that name in any Google search, any whatever search, you can't find a picture of this man. You'll find his descendants or re, quote unquote replacements or transplants. I ain't gonna get into that right now. But this is the Sultan that ordained the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, the last known prophet in Mecca. Now, I'm showing you this picture because you won't see it nowhere else unless you get this particular book. Or if you get the Holy Quran, his pictures inside the Holy Quran prepared by Noble Drew Ali. Now, I'm showing this picture because when the prophet walked the earth, he was a very important man. This right here is a write up of him on his birthday celebration and how many people came to his birthday celebration in Chicago in Mecca. It's another name for another day. Now, so many people want to say that this man did not exist or he didn't do what he did, but he did do it. On the eve of January the second, members of the Maury Science Temple of America, America, celebrated the Prophet Noble, Noble Joy Lee's birthday with Grand Maurice Costume Ball in the main auditorium of the Unity Hall on 2140 Indiana Avenue. The occasion was also celebrated by subordinates, temples, and other sections of the United States. The occasion was the first of its kind in America, and all members participated were native Moroccan war native Moroccan costumes costumes. A number of prominent men, both in the business and public life of Chicago, joined the members in honoring the Maurice Lee's birthday. The governor of Illinois, congressman, alderman, judge. Y'all don't understand. This man was for real. When he walked this earth in bringing Islam back to its people. He, in our journey as Moors, is to bring the human race back into the family of nations. Who is the fallen humanity? Those so-called black persons. Because they lost their identity, their nationality, their creed, and their religion. That's what make you three-fifths of a person. Because you don't have your nationality and your religion anymore. This is just more evidence of who we are. And inside any ignorant human being... The ones that speak down upon the prophet, you cannot speak down upon facts. Islam.